Premiere Pro Motion and Transform effects are quite similar, but what's the difference? Motion is a default effect that is always in the effects control on anything, while Transform requires manually adding from the effects list in the distort bin inside of the video effects. If we look at the parameters inside of the effects control, we can see both got overlapping parameters for anchor, position, scale, and rotation. But we have more parameters at Transform than Motion, with skew, opacity, and shutter angle. One thing different in motion is the anti-flicker effect, which is supposed to lessen choppy fast movement by blurring the image during the movement. But in all the versions of Premiere Pro I have used, never seen this work or do anything. That's why many often prefer using transform over motion due to the shutter angle feature as it enables adding motion blur to the movement giving it a more natural motion. To use the shutter angle, turn off the used composition shutter angle. Then change the shutter angle to the desired degrees. Advisable is 180 degrees which gives you a more natural motion and the maximum degrees is 360. So with Transform having more parameters and also that nice shutter angle for motion blur, you might think why don't they just replace motion with Transform. However, both of them operate in a slightly different way. So to show that, we can show you with this adjustment layer. On this adjustment layer, we have a Lumetri color for a quick grade. And when we actually change the position on motion on the adjustment layer, we can see that it actually moves the adjustment layer itself. So here is where there's no adjustment layer where we see that there is no color grade. And on this other side, we have a color grade. So when we reset this, it be graded overall. However, when we change the position on transform, it's different. So when we change it here, it's actually going to affect the video clip on the bottom and actually move that clip. So we can move it here, left and right. So it changes the parameters in a slightly different way. So how we can actually kind of explain it is that motion affects the clip and the framing uh, or yeah, the clip framing itself or the clip itself. However, transform affects the footage. So inside the clip, you have the video footage. So when we scale here, we scale the video footage. But when we scale here, we scale actually the adjustment layer. So that is how they kind of differ. So it's kind of depends on how you want to use it. So for a quick example, we can show you a way to use the adjustment layer with the transform, which uh, would make sense. And uh, especially when you're trying to make a simple transition. So now we're going to show you uh, using the adjustment layer to make a transition, which uh, is quite simple to do. So let's actually go to this adjustment layer. We're actually going to delete this uh, Lumetri color because we don't really need that great for this and gonna hold on shift down shift down to go in between two clips I want this transition to be around like 10 frames so hold on shift arrow to the left one two that's uh, 10 frames Whoa. that is 10 frames to the left and then shift down arrow to the right and that's 10 frames so this is total 20 frames so what we want to do is a quick simple cross zoom so if we of course change the scale here it doesn't affect the clip at all but we're gonna change the scale here at transform make sure it's uniform scale now when we scale up we can see this happening so let's first make sure that our timeline is in between the two. So here it's in between the two. Adjustment layer. I want this adjustment layer to be scaled to 300. And then gonna hit this for uh, adding a keyframe in the middle. Move here to the front back to 100. And then here also 100, move this back there. And we're gonna add a little bit of a bezier. So we have like a nice, 
So we're gonna add a badger. Right mouse click here, right mouse click there. So we have like a nice ease in, ease out. For that. So if we play this, we have this cross zoom effect. However, uh, we can also, of course, now here change this 180. Now, if we play this, we have like a slight motion blur, maybe 360, a little bit more. And here we just made a quick cross zoom effect. So yeah, the transform uh, for this, using it on an adjustment layer to make a quick transition is just an easy way to do instead of uh, using the motion effect, which would be separated on, uh, need to be done on each clip itself instead of just quick on a trans, uh, yeah, on an adjustment layer. However, yeah, honestly, uh, between the two effects, between motion and transform, I would just say, uh, even though you can animate and move objects or move clips around uh, and animate it in motion, uh, it is less uh, nicer looking than compared to using it in transform. So for motion, I would suggest to just use it to change framing, positioning, just scaling your video clip and just moving it in the position that you want on the uh, frame itself. But with transform, if you do any animation, transform is just a better uh, effect for that. Hope you learned something from this video. If you have any suggestions or any questions, please comment it here below. And if you are new to this channel and want to see more tutorials like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button here below. Thank you guys for watching. Be safe out there. Love you all and CD out.